Good afternoon everyone, Sheila here in Boho Daydreams and welcome to my channel. I'm at Sally's place, Rainy Day Gypsy, and she's in the kitchen. She's making us some coffees. Um, I've had a wonderful day. We've been kind of working away and crafting. I came over and um, we've been doing a whole bunch of fun stuff. But my laces had come and I brought them over to show her so I thought I'd quickly do a little video. Now this is something that I received from Paris, France uh, a couple of days ago. And it's something that I had seen online somewhere, I'm not even quite sure. And I should have been sleeping, but I was buying stuff again. Anyway, um, that happens when, I, when I'm not sleeping. So, it was hard to see what was all in the package, but it's a, a substantial package. And I'm just going to show you a few things. So they're really, really old and they're discolored and I probably need to iron them and whatnot and be careful with that. So I'm just going to show you a few pieces. Um, so there was uh, a lot of this, this type of thing and they're fairly stiff the way they're stitched together so that this would probably have been a collar that stood up. Um, so I don't know what I'm ever going to do with that, but I thought that was interesting. There's a bunch of different pieces of laces um, in the package, and they're all super old. Oops, sorry. I just banged the camera. Some like this. I love this kind of stuff. I love, I love net lace. I love it. And this is also old that most of this is hand done. And this is not even a net. This is more like a gauze. But it's so light and airy. And yes, I am going to be using these things. As I get better in crafting, I'm going to be using them. And this is really old too. And um, in that era, in order to have pleats, they actually stitched them so that they would hold their shape. So this is really a cute collar. That would have been a collar on um, some dress. This came from a lady who has an antique shop in Paris. So she was um, she was she was online in some marketplace um, selling off her some of her laces, and I just happened to be to be there. So I'm really happy about that. Look at this. This is all hand stitched on. Isn't that beautiful? And they're all kind of um, a bit discolored, as you can see. But in our realm, we don't care about stuff like that. We love it. At least Sally and I do. We love that sort of thing. There's another piece. Um, we're getting to the interesting stuff. Now this here is a, uh, a headpiece of some sort. And it's got your little pieces that hang down like this. And then you've got just this. And these bonnets never tied. There's a lot in here that were just placed on your head. And they just never, I don't know how they stayed in place. Because um, they would blow off. I would think that they would blow off. So maybe they were worn just inside. Look how pretty this is. Oh, I just love that. And it's so soft, like... That is just amazingly soft. Now this is super interesting. This is really, this really captured me. So it's a piece of eyelet. Really old. Look at the discoloration. You probably can't see it because it's kind of bright here by the window. But it's, it was a piece that was still in the makings. So you see the markings on here and then you see the stitching. Somebody was working on this. And um, it never got finished. You turn it over and the paper is really old, very fragile paper. Um, but that's how they did it. That's how they made their eyelet. Look at that. That would be so time consuming, but totally amazing. It's like going back in history, you know. 
This is my second take of the video because the first one, um, I don't know how to edit and I needed to pause and instead of pausing, I turned it off. So I can't edit. So I had to start again. But Sally Bell brought me a piece of chocolate and when she walked in here, she was laughing so hard because I have this um, little hat. I'm in costume. So I have my hat on that's, that came in this little kit, this little um, set of lace. And it's quite, it's quite funny. So look at this. Here's another one of these um, pieces that probably um, was something that they wore on their, on their head. And it just kind of sat there. Look at the beauty of that. So pretty. This is unlike any lace that I've ever bought before. But it was really hard to see um, in her pictures because there weren't many pictures. And on my phone without my glasses... It could be, it could have been anything. Those was lace, so I, so I got it. And then there's a nice piece of this. I love it. And more of the net lace. I love, I love net lace, the tool lace. I love that. And there was a piece of this, and I don't think this is as old as the rest, but it's still quite old. It's very fragile, very, very fragile. It's the only colored piece of lace that was in this box. And then there's um, a part of a petticoat. It's, it's got these thin pin pleats with this beautiful little lace. The, cot the cotton on it is so, so soft. All right, and this here is really interesting. Look at this. This is such, oops, sorry, such old, old paper. And the pieces of lace have been um, semi-stitched together on the paper because they were creating a um, the bodice of a, of a who knows what. And it's all stitched and it's really old. It's really, really old. Look at that. The paper is just degrading where the lace has been sitting all these years. I'm going to show you a couple of the bonnets, you know, because there's lots of bonnets. There's several bonnets in here, and they're all pleated, and they would all just sit, sit on your head. There's either the ties have been cut off, or they were never there, because they're all basically the same. So there's several of those. And then there was another interesting piece, and I don't know what this is called, because I've never seen this before. So it's this great big piece of, um, looks like, I don't know, it's, it's cotton, but it looks um, kind of like a netting. And then on it is this, and it's all hand-stitched. I don't know what it is. It's like it's woven. But it's really interesting. It was never completed. There's just a square of it. So I thought, well, that's interesting. I'm going to use that. The, the box was pretty big and pretty full, but I'm not going to go through all the pieces because some of it needs ironing. Some of it's really wrinkled up. Now I want to brag about Sally a little bit because this here is a beautiful journal she's creating. She's working on, and I walked in and I saw it, and I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm bragging on her. She... Uh, we had been dyeing the silk, that white silk that um, I have as an add-on. So we dyed some of it, and it's more of a coral color. It kind of looks a little bit pink here, but it's more of a corally pink. And look how beautiful that dyed. And we ripped this, so it was, um, it's ripped, but it's not fraying, and it's so pretty. And I'm just going to quickly go through a little bit of this journal. It's a little journal. Um, she surprised me because it's bigger than what I thought it was going to be. Because when she showed it to me the first time, the spine was probably an inch, an inch and a half. And now it's like so wide. But this is for her 500 subby giveaway. So you're going to want to go over there and uh, subscribe. And I'm just going to show you a little bit of it because um, she doesn't know I'm doing this. But she's just, she's worked on it. It's just beautiful. Look at that. Look at the little 
um, piece of jewel there. So my trims, just a whole bunch of different um, elements in this in this book. It's so pretty. Oh, I see some of my lace. Oh, and the trim. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, I'm not showing you all of it. Just a little bit. Oh, that's my wallpaper. All the fun stuff. So you're going to want to get over to Sally's YouTube. And I'm going to link that in the description box. Get over there and subscribe to her. Because this little creation is amazing. It is very beautiful and amazing. Anyway, I hope everyone's having a good day. I'm having a wonderful week. Got all the trim packages out, basically, and had good feedback on that. Um, so I'm so happy about that. Um, just taking the week off, getting some fun stuff done. Well, I hope you're all having a good week, and uh, we hope to see you soon on the couch. Bye-bye.